started out writing uh, movies. What made, what gave you the transition, you know, the idea to move into directing? Was it the fact that this film was passionate to you, or? Well, I actually started directing animated shorts before I started screenwriting. So uh, I think jumping in the director's chair for a feature film is kind of a natural evolution. What, ins what, what inspired the character Sam? I know he was in the original short. Yeah, uh, he started off as a character in the animated short Season's Greetings. And then he kept popping up in sketches that I was doing. Uh, every year I do Halloween greeting cards and Christmas cards, and he kept popping up in those designs uh, in the margins of notebooks and scripts. And he's kind of my personal Frankenstein creature. He kept, I think he was egging me on to give him his own movie, yeah. so I finally caved in. Um, obviously, obviously everyone knows the film's had a huge delay. Yeah. <laughs> but do you think that's actually a hindrance or, or a help? Because I think it's also a bit of hype behind the film. Yeah, I mean, I think there's... I, th I think the delay has almost created an odd mystique yeah. about the film. Uh, in a lot of ways, I think it's helped us because it's become this discussion topic of why? Why was it delayed? Uh, and I think anytime something becomes forbidden fruit, it makes people want to see it that much more. Uh, so, you know, I think between myself and my team, my cohorts, we've definitely turned it into something uh, beneficial. You know, I think, with, with the delay, I think the character of Sam's already become sort of a horror icon, hasn't he? Well, it's funny because, yeah, we have action figures and books and there's, there's all this merchandise which is already out featuring Sam, uh, which is actually has been selling okay. And it's, it's on the table over there, you know, sitting next to Michael Myers. So, I think, he is definitely intrigued a group of people. Um, obviously, Trick or Treat's an anthology. Mm -hmm. Do you think Hollywood needs to bring that back? I mean, we've had a huge success in the 80s, you know, Creep Show, mm -hmm. Twilight Zone. Do you think that needs to come back some more? I do. I, mean, I think anthologies, anthologies had a great golden era in the 80s. Uh, and for whatever reason, we just stopped making them. Um, and it's, it's a format which works. And we still have them for dramatic films. We have uh, you know, Crash came out not too long ago, and that's an anthology film. Uh, and to me, it's one of the best ways to watch horror. Um, you know, from the Twilight Zone, Tales from the Crypts, Tales from the Dark Side, uh, amazing stories in the 80s. It was a real golden era, and I think it's due time for them to come back. Speaking of uh, Tales from the Crypt, a lot of people say that the uh, AC films in the film. Yep. Yeah, this was uh, hugely inspired by horror comic books. I grew up reading them. And again, anthology horror comic books. It's a great way to get a lot of scares in you know, a single format. Uh, but the tone and style of those comic books uh, definitely influenced this film. Uh, final question, anything, what's in the pipeline, new projects? Uh, definitely some new projects. I don't like to talk about them because I get uh, superstitious about jinxing them, but uh, one of them, one of my favorites, features more monsters. They're just a lot bigger. Thanks very much. Thank you.